Hey everybody, Mr. Grisenia here, hanging out with my friends in the pigsty, and I thought, what a perfect place to read you one of my favorite stories. It's called Pigs. It's written by Robert Munch and illustrated by Michael Marchenko. Megan's father asked her to feed the pigs on her way to school. He said, Megan, please feed the pigs, but don't open the gate. Pigs are smarter than you think, so don't open the gate. Right, said Megan. I will not open the gate. Not me. No, 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 no. So Megan went out to the pig pen. She looked at the pigs, and the pigs looked at Megan. And Megan said, these are the dumbest looking animals I have ever seen in my life. They wouldn't do anything if I did open the gate. So Megan opened the gate just a little bit. The pigs just stood there and looked at Megan. They didn't do anything. Megan said, these are the dumbest looking animals I have ever seen. They stand there like lumps on a bump. They wouldn't even go out the door if the house was on fire. So Megan opened the gate a little bit more. The pigs just stood there and looked at Megan. They didn't do anything. Then Megan yelled, hey, you dumb pigs. And the pigs jumped up and ran right over Megan. Whap, 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 and out the gate. When Megan got up, she couldn't see the pigs anywhere. She said, uh-oh, I'm in bad trouble. Maybe pigs aren't so dumb after all. Then she went to tell her father the bad news. When she got to the house, Megan heard a noise coming from the kitchen. It went, <laughs> Oh, that doesn't sound like my mother. And that doesn't sound like my father. That sounds like pigs. And she looked in the window and there was her father sitting at the breakfast table. A pig was drinking his coffee. A pig was eating his newspaper and a pig was peeing on his shoe. Megan, yelled her father. You open the gate. Get these pigs out of here. So Megan opened the front door a little bit. The pigs stood and looked at Megan. Finally, Megan opened the front door all the way and said, hey, you dumb pigs. And the pigs jumped up and ran right over Megan. Whap, 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 and right out the door. Megan ran outside, chased all the pigs into the pig pan and shut the gate. Then she went and looked at the pigs and said, you are still dumb, like lumps on a bump. Then she ran off to school. Just as she was about to open the front door, she heard a sound. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound like my teacher. That doesn't sound like the principal. That sounds like pigs. And Megan looked in the principal's window. There was a pig drinking the principal's coffee. A pig was eating the principal's newspaper. And a pig was peeing on the principal's shoe. The principal yelled, Megan! Get these pigs out of here! Well, Megan opened the door of the school a little bit. The pigs didn't do anything. She opened the door all the way and yelled, Hey, you dumb pigs! And the pigs jumped up and ran right over Megan. Whap, 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 and right out the door. Megan went inside the school. She sat down at her desk and said, That is that. I finally got rid of all those pigs. And then she heard a noise. And Megan opened up her desk and there was a new baby pig. And the teacher said, Megan, get that dumb pig out of here. And Megan said, dumb? Whoever said the pigs were dumb? Pigs are smart. I'm gonna keep it for a pet. And at the end of the day, the school bus finally came. Megan walked up to the door and she heard something say, Megan said, that doesn't sound like the bus driver. That sounds like pigs. And she climbed up the stairs and looked in the bus. There was a pig driving the bus, pigs eating the seats, and pigs lying in the aisle. A pig shut the door and drove the bus down the road. It drove the bus all the way to Megan's farm, through the barnyard, and right into the pig pen. Megan got out of the bus, walked across the barnyard, and marched into the kitchen. She said, the pigs are all back in the pig pen. They came back by themselves. 
Pigs are smarter than you think. And Megan never let out any more animals. At least, not any more pigs. All right, boys and girls, again, hope you're doing great out there. I miss you. Hope to see you soon. Rawr!